for the thing today okay and uh, now you have this part concat format uh, you can uh, take this one note okay note this down all these functions hmm, for your personalization and this is your use case okay where you have a sendable d and you can give a proper name okay for whom you are going to send okay maybe you can say new customers or say existing customer anything okay and you'll have this uh, data extension where you have this attribute as subscriber key email phone number uh, this season favorite season first name last name and you can add local or any other attributes you want to add local country or anything and you also and then you'll have a data extension name called products okay and you're going to show the products with the product name the price okay any image url if you want you can omit also this okay because if you're practicing it's not required give a description hmm, name and the season okay then what you're going to do is from here come to this block right what i'm doing here so i'm using proper case okay for the first name so that it reflects in the first name if the first name is not present if it's empty give a different name as per your choice okay you have given such as rock stars you are rock stars so you can give anything okay and here i'm using a lookup function okay lookup rules so it is going to look up this uh, table here the products okay and with these products i am looking for the season hmm. so based on this search i am searching for a season attribute here i have the season right i am looking for this season attribute and for this particular subscriber i didn't uh, by default i said it, he loves winter hmm. so i am looking for sasi okay and for him i am going to basically i should have basically not only select the first name but from this data extension right from this uh, new product promotion i could have also selected his favorite season and assigned to a season variable right and here instead of winter i here this line i'm just taking this line okay so here i took the first name and what what i could have done was instead of this i have assigned season okay i don't want a proper case here everywhere so i'm removing this so i'm going to take what is the season okay favorite season okay here and i'll say search for this season Understood. So I'm going to look for the products. Yeah, the data extension is products. So this will be products. Okay. And bring me the data rows, bring me all the records. Okay. This particular values where this particular filter is matching, where the season equals to season. SEA SO and season SO that SEA. Season. How you spell season? That's it. S E S O N. Ah. Uh, so, okay. If this season for, say, if I'm looking for Sasi, it will be winter. Okay, and it will go and search for winter, and it will bring all these values for you. Okay, and if it if it's looking for Lakshmi, it will look for summer. Okay, and it will bring summer. And let's say for high also, let's say the season is summer. Hmm. So if this is summer, then for high also it will going to bring summer. Okay. okay. So you have this lookup function, and from the lookup, you will get all the values. So greetings, I'm saying greetings, you can use concat function and say greetings, Sasi. Or say greetings, uh, Lakshmi, right? Or you say if that you add your the title if you have if you want to your uh, add a title, 
then you can concatenate the title or normally you can use it greetings and the first name hmm? and you can use a concat function and you say as as you are a member of our you know company and you like this season okay and i said just winter i say winter and then i can use even here also i can use concat and say winter season hmm? we want to give you a list of products that you are interested in and use this you have already used this formatting when you are doing this assignment i see here right so row count and all this the similar thing is here okay then you use a loop okay and assign everything like the product interest then i said product name description price and everything first you assign the value okay using field function okay if you want to see the field function here in amp script so amp script what it does is it takes the string okay as a first first parameter of the row okay it requires a string which is the name of the field that you want to return right so here so go back here yeah. so for this row that you have selected okay for this row the first column i okay first row which attribute i have to pick up i have to pick up the name right so here it is going to see the product name basically you, for you it will be product name okay so row comma product name hmm. so it will assign the value are you people following me what i'm saying or if your people are puzzled you can ask a question here. yes no? uh, we can uh, we understand yes okay. clear session okay so you assign the values right and here for the price you have to use currency formatting which we are describing today right format currency okay and maybe you can say uh, this product will expire on this date maybe you can have a field name date right and then you can format using this function called format date hmm? so the number of functions if you in your use case whoever is using every uh, formatting okay every function here uh, the person is getting going to be excelled okay how you are going to use this use case is up to you okay so uh, try to use whatever you want to use from here and uh, the use case is to show the user uh, which product he's interested in okay that is your use case any 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 question no ah uh, sasi babu here uh, so actually uh, uh, no question from my side i just wanted to like uh, request you like this is my first session and i'm little confused with the for loop so if possible like to send me the first session video so i'll go through with that one and i can oh i, can I haven't go. see i haven't taught uh, the for loop for anyone they have done at their own okay okay so, so uh, let's do this let's do this hmm. let's take this i'll go quickly hmm. so i have this look up rows when i say look up rows season and it is winter right so i can have one more row here okay and uh, just for name i'll say sweater hmm. make it little easier for everyone so if i say if i do here okay and just let me hard code it for you if i say this value to be winter hmm. so this is going to return you a data set and the data set output will be this okay so this rs row set Okay, basically the short form is row set. So if you want to have a proper understanding, I'll always say follow the best practice of saying in the full form. So this will be row set. So this row set will return this value. 
okay because you are filtering with season as winter now you have two rows right now you have to print both the rows so first condition why they use if condition is okay if i say if and i'll do the end if i'm saying check whether this uh, row count of this particular row set is greater than 0 if greater than 0 then you proceed right now how you are going to proceed you are going to use a for loop okay so let me copy this for loop for you syntax i'm going fast okay if you uh, need any help here i am there hmm. next and i so here what i'm doing is first i'm checking the count whether the count is greater than 0 or not okay for this row set if the count is greater if you don't use this for what will happen let's say uh then another season is i think autumn okay hope this spelling is correct so here in this particular data extension there is no product for autumn hmm. and if i say autumn then this will be zero and if you try to print and use use for loop or something right it might give you an exception it will throw an exception and your code will might uh you know it will not run properly for you hmm. but if you use if condition with row row count then you are safe understood so that's why you have this if condition in place and now you are going to do the for loop okay so this one is also row set now i'm doing the for loop okay now i'm going to set this to a row now from the row set i'm going to pick a row okay so this is row where i'm picking from this row set now which index i'm picking this is i is basically saying row set i hmm. now if this one it is one okay so this is how we are going to pick now you got the row it means first row then the output is this one okay now for this when you are going inside the loop for this for loop now when i'm saying i then it is picking jacket okay now from the jacket now uh, what i want to do is i want to set the value let's say set product name i say set product name okay from this row this row which is basically jacket's row okay this one which row i want to be product name so it will be this data extension name attribute value is product name so i'm replace this with product name so if i just print this okay then it is going to give me jacket understood bob uh, yes sir yes sir okay okay getting getting huh. so similarly assign all the attributes you want to assign it here so another one is they say you have this price hmm. so i don't want to do the formatting here i always prefer it to do it later so here i'm going to say this is price okay so i'll always make this as small later to understand this is a variable hmm. so this way you are assigning it okay now when this uh, next i happens and this i value turns to 2 right so it is going to bring you this row as an output and keep it in another table here right a uh, temporary table will be created with this row then now the second component will be sweater hmm. this is how for loop works okay yes yes sir any other questions feel free to ask questions i'm okay with all any questions no i i don't have i think i will uh, if i'll go through with the video again so mm -hmm. uh, i i might be clear everything uh, i'm just uh, okay losing like in the, in the entire uh, coding mm -hmm. so if i'll go through with I'll, i'll get it sir if possible mm -hmm. okay no problem so going back to the use case right so the use case is utilize as much of this functions okay and uh, build a use case where uh, you are going to print uh, a person saying that uh, take an example here right greetings sasi okay 
as you are a dedicated member in this Amscript enablement program, right? Uh, these are your interest, and so the interest, and you can print the value, okay? Saying that, uh, please find the description below, uh, and then you can print the price, date, or something, whatever you want, okay? And that will be your task for this session.